everyone and welcome back to the magical memories with maddie podcast uh d23 was just recently this weekend and so that means we of course not only have new announcements of disney movie projects but also disney parks upcoming projects attractions lands etc so let's do a full rundown of every single thing we're getting new in the disney parks around the world first Disney Cruise Line to launch four new ships. Now I know we have a lot of progress going on, on currently on two ships I think that are in process, but now we're expanding to a full um, number of 13 ships. And of course there was new details revealed about Disney Treasure and Disney Destiny. I will try to find that. This is my everything and then I'm gonna go into more detail. Disney and Epic Games collaboration update. Uh, new Marvel season premieres next week. Disney Animation, Pixar, Star Wars, and Marvel are coming to Fortnite. Uh, plus an all new season featuring Doctor Doom starting next week and so much more to come. So if you guys like Fortnite, they're getting all the new Marvel stuff. Monsters Inc. Okay, so everybody knows we have Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor and Magic Kingdom, but that's it. But in Hollywood Studios, which with construction beginning next year, we are getting a Monsters Inc. land with its first ever suspended coaster style ride. Super excited. Kachow! Cars is coming to Magic Kingdom um, with two new attractions and fun for the whole family. So that we're getting a Cars land in Magic Kingdom. I don't know how similar it's going to be to uh, the one in California. So we'll see if I can get more details about that. And of course, everybody's talking about the villain's land we're getting. Um, and the construction's beginning soon. I I know we're getting attractions. I know it looks really cool. I'm really excited. Tropical Americas are coming to Animal Kingdom, spreading to life in 2027. Lions, Tigers, and Indiana Jones and the Magical Family. Oh my! <laughs> Tropical Americas will come to Disney's Animal Kingdom, featuring everyone's favorite archaeologist and the magical Casita from Walt Disney Animation Studios Oscar winning film Encanto. We're getting an Encanto attraction, we're getting an Indiana Jones attraction, and this is all really exciting. I knew that we were getting Indiana Jones, it's been speculated about Indiana Jones taking over the dinosaur attraction, but we finally got full confirmation. We're getting an Avatar themed destination at California Adventure. It's going to be based off of the way of water, so it's not going to be the same as the one in Animal Kingdom. So it is going to be a little different and it looks really fun. All right, we're getting the first ever Walt Disney audio animatronic figure debuting in 2025. Stop by for a visit when Walt Disney and Magical Life begins playing at the Main Street Opera House at Disneyland. After its initial debut, the show will then play in rotation with great moments with Mr. Lincoln. So it's going to be either great moments or Walt Disney, a magical life. I think that's really cool. Assembling soon. Ready to save the world and the galaxy? We'll suit up because the new Avengers experiences are coming to Shanghai Disneyland, Hong Kong Disneyland, and Cal Disney California Adventure. Avengers Campus will double in, size with the double in size with the addition of two new attractions, Avengers Infinity Defense and Stark Flight Lab. Now, Avengers Infinity Defense is like an insane cool looking ride. It's so cool. And Stark Flight Lab is like a Harry Potter in the um, Forbidden Journey type ride where it's like family fun and you kind of ride around. You're testing flight gear for Mr. Stark. So two attractions. I'm so excited. This is really exciting because Avengers Campus does feel very small. And so to make it bigger, Let's go. Now, of course, Avengers Campus and one of the Around the World Park has uh, a rock and roller coaster ride that's rock and roller coasters ride through, but Avengers themed. So they get a little more fun over there, but it's okay because we're getting new stuff. All right. The Lion King is coming to Disneyland Paris with an all new attraction that looks very similar to Tiana's where it's a water ride, but it's the Lion King and it's Pride Rock. There's a Coco attraction coming to Disney California Adventure with construction beginning in 2026. You can travel to the Land of the Dead with Miguel and a skeletal family from Pixar's Coco with his all new attraction. That sounds fun. Disney Tiana's Bayou Adventure is opening in November over at Disneyland, November 15th to be exact. So if you were wondering about that, 
We got two new lounges coming to Disney World, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and Spaceship Earth. Sounds like fun. Of course, Test Track is being reimagined. That's currently in progress right now. We already knew about this. We just got more details um, and it's coming next year in 2025. New adventures are coming to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I love when they add new things to Galaxy's Edge because it's very minimal. We are getting a new story for the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run attraction, including Mandalorian and Grogu for the upcoming movie that's coming out in 2026. World of Frozen is coming to Disney Adventure World. We're getting a whole Frozen land. That's cool. And there's a new nighttime parade debuting at Magic Kingdom in 2025 called Disney Starlight. And Disney parks around the world will also have new spectaculars on the horizon. Okay, so that's a general recap of everything that's new. Let's get more into detail on the things that we can. All right, let's start with Villains Land. This is what it looks like, you guys. It's crazy. I'm trying to keep up here because I always, always end up looking down when I do these. Once upon a nightmare, a place where poison apples are plenty and magic potions can ruin your whole day. For those things hiding in the shadows, it's time to join them as we lift the veil on a forthcoming villain's land at Magic Kingdom Park at Walt Disney World Resort. This new land will be home to the Disney villains we know and loathe from our favorite Walt Disney Animation Studios classic films, which means happily ever after may feel just like a distant dream. The evil ambition of all these villains means that the possibilities are endless for the stories that can be told, and visitors to the dark and thorny land should be prepared for whatever chaos might come their way. This is so cool. The new land will encompass all of your dreams or nightmares. The space will be home to two major attractions, dining and shopping on an incredibly twisted grand scale. Be prepared, you poor unfortunate souls. It's gonna be a fearless new vision for what Disney experience can be. You might have just felt a shiver run down your spine. That's because preparation is already underway at Magic Kingdom for this new land. Maybe think twice before you indulge in that next shiny red apple. So it sounds like we're getting new attractions, two of them, some dining and some shopping. And now I can't really tell from the preview picture of what attractions or anything might be, but I do see kind of a hint all the way on the left of um, like a thorn coaster, like it's made out of thorns. So there's definitely that. Um, and I see some castles and I see, you know, all kinds of cool stuff. Definitely Maleficent vibes growing in here. Me personally, I really want an attraction based off of the Emperor's New Groove because I just want a ride that goes, pull the lever, crunk, wrong lever. And it's just, I think it would be funny and I think it would be great. And everybody wants that. So Disney. If you don't have that in your villain's land, I honestly don't know how excited I'm gonna be when I finally go. <laughs> so I just wanted to say that. All right, we got a new mission featuring Mando and Grogu coming to Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. And this looks so cool, look at the picture. When the upcoming Mandalorian and Grogu movie blast off in theaters in 2026, it will also touch down at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. A brand new story featuring Mando and his youngling is coming to Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. It's coming to both Disneyland and Walt Disney World. Um, Epic's Unreal Engine to create a virtual set for the Mandalorian. And so now with the expanded partnership between Disney and Epic Games, Epic's Unreal Engine will help bring to life the latest adventure in a galaxy far, far away. That's really cool. That's really cool. Like it's just gonna come straight up awesome. The intersection of storytelling and innov innovation has always been central to Lucasfilm and we're excited to see where this collaboration will take us next. Just imagine it, you'll be able to fly alongside Mando and Grogu on a thrilling and dangerous mission. That is gonna be so much fun. So this sounds like really, 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 really cool because we literally can fly on our ship on the Millennium Falcon and there's Mando and Grogu just flying there. That's cool. 
What's better than one new Disney Cruise Line ship? How about four? <laughs> we got four new ships joining the fleet because we already have two that we know of. Um, four is the magic number. Five ships are currently in the fleet with four others already in the works. The new four additional ships will bring the fleet to a total of 13, giving you 13 different opportunities to experience everything that Disney Cruise Line is known for. The ship names, designs, and exciting itineraries are still in development, but go ahead and start dreaming about your next sailing. And of course, the signature production aboard the Disney Destiny, which starts sailing next year, will be Disney Hercules. Oh, we gotta go on this ship. Featuring the music and characters you know and love for the classic Walt Disney Animation Studios film. I love Hercules, so this is exciting news. You also can see a brand new stage production of Disney The Tale of Moana. With a 15 foot tall puppet, the largest we've ever produced for a Disney Cruise Line show of Taka. You guys, they're killing it in the Disney Cruise Line game. We have a new um, private island, which it's not really fully a private island, but we have one and we have the Castaway Key that's been there and we have the ships that we already have and the ships that are coming out that we already know about. And I'm just super excited for all of the big news and the new info and everything that we could possibly be getting. I went on one Disney cruise and it was one of those older ships, so I'm excited about the new ones. And of course, if you guys want to go on a Disney cruise, don't forget, I can help book those trips for you. At Maddie, well at your feet. Cars land. One is a quicker than quick race car who eats losers for breakfast, and one is a tow truck with the heart of gold. Lightning McQueen and Tow Mater are racing in the Magic Kingdom Park at the Walt Disney World Resort. A new area inspired by D Pixar Animation Studios film Cars will be coming to a reimagined section of Frontierland at Magic Kingdom. The American West has always been about keeping your eyes on the horizon, believing in yourself, carving your own path, and striving towards success. That goes for mines in the mountain, miners in the mountains, bears in the country, a princess in the bayou, or a race car from the big city. Oh, so this is coming to Frontierland. Cool. Oh, it looks cool. It looks so cool. Okay, this looks like we're gonna. It looks like we're getting attractions similar to Radiator Springs Racers, but like in this like frontierland desert like style area. One attraction will invite you to a thrilling rally race through the mountains, take on wild terrain as you race across the landscape, climbing mountain trails, do dodging geysers, and Mater's favorite, splashing through mud holes. <laughs> but what about smaller racers? The second attraction will be geared towards them and will be fun for the whole family. Get ready to start your engines. Work on this new space in frontierland will begin in 2025. So, um, it sounds like it's coming to Frontierland. It said... It's a reimagined section. So it sounds like it's gonna be a part of a section that may already be in Frontierland, but I don't know what section it could be. Unless they're taking over Tom Sawyer Island, which would be cool. All right, we're getting on Monsters, Inc. land with this suspended coaster-style ride, the first ever at a Walt Disney World Park. If you've ever been on a suspended coaster-style ride, it's pretty fun. It's laughter thereafter when a brand new land themed around Pixar Animation Studios' as Monsters, Inc. comes to life at Disney's Hollywood Studios. The news was shared during Horizons, which all of this news was. Um, we got plans to build a living, breathing, and not at all scary Monsters, Inc. inspired area where you'll be able to stroll through the streets alongside some of your favorite monsters. Picking up after the events of Pixar's beloved films, film humans now have been invited to visit the world of Monsters, Inc. And the monsters need laughter to power the city and keep it running smoothly. But it's not a true visit without the factory itself. You'll be able to see sights, hear the laughs and zooms, through the building just like James P. Sullivan aka Sully and Mike Wazowski via Adore. Yes, Adore. 
If you've been dreaming about riding through the door vault since the movie was released in 2001, you're not alone. <laughs> the Josh was has been thinking about this too. The first time he saw Monsters, Inc., all he wanted to do was ride on those doors like Mike and Sully, and so that's what the ride is going to be like, as if you're riding through these doors. You'll go into the factory and experience the first suspended coaster ever in a Disney park. Remember in the movie how those claws grab the doors and hoist them up in the air to take them away? We're doing that too and you're going along for the ride. Ah! The coaster will put you right in the middle of monster action. Just be sure to fill out your paperwork. Roz is always watching. I wish I could do the voice. Always watching. That's so cool, you guys. Oh my God. All right, buckle up everybody. Test track is getting reimagined again. <laughs> I think it has been one time before because it's not its original test track. Walt Disney Imagineering is collaborating with Chevrolet to push innovation forward and celebrate humanity's enduring drive, pun intended, on the thrilling world road to a brighter tomorrow. But before we get too far down this winding road, test track will celebrate today's innovation while highlighting the past, present, and the future. The queue will feature six distinct exhibits and within each room celebrate the vehicles and the people behind the vehicles that push the envelope and help get the people to the next chapter chapter in our motion journey. New show scenes will be added showcasing technological advances on and how our lifestyles and relationships to mobility connect everyone. Enjoy a joyride through the scenes focusing on onboard technology, customization, and personalization, followed by a trip through a scenic outdoor route route reminding us all of the joys of driving, taking in the world around us, and spending quality time with friends and family. Construction on this reimagined experience has already begun, and eagle-eyed visitors might already have picked up on the fact that a new exterior harkens back to the original pavilion design. New exterior. Cool. All right, you guys, we're getting two new lounge spaces at Disney World. Pirates and Spaceship Earth. Drink me up, drink up me hearties, and thank the Phoenicians. <laughs> I love that. Because oh, the Phoenicians and Spaceship Earth, if you don't get it, why are you here? <laughs> Set to some catchy and thematically appropriate tunes, the duo, Darren, Chris, and Skylar Aston, announced a brand new lounge and share details on a previously announced tavern, both coming soon to Walt Disney World Resort. So next time you're looking to take a load off, here's what you need to know. New lounge inspired by Spaceship Earth. So obviously this is coming to Epcot. This just announced lounge is inspired by the story, shapes, and enduring legacy of this timeless icon taking inspiration from its geometric sphere, the Zen space to gather and enjoy refreshments will be draped with rich textures and warm metallic tones, giving it a mysterious and elegant intimacy. And of course, updates to the tavern inspired by Pirates of the Caribbean. It's a rambunctious watering hole that will offer a welcoming haven for all pirate kind, big and small, and everyone in between. Here bandits and buccaneers to be from every corner of the seven seas are welcome to join together and raise a toast to the pirate life. And the newly released artwork X marks the spot for a seaworthy selection of grogs and grub inside this tavern coming to Magic Kingdom Park. Both spaces will welcome their guests in 2025. I'm getting some bars. And one in Magic Kingdom, this is interesting because you, typically in Magic Kingdom, you are not allowed to have alcohol unless you are at a sit down dining reservation, such as be our guest, Liberty Tree Tavern, you know, whatever. And so I wonder how they're going to do this because you don't get the free reign walk around Magic Kingdom with alcohol in your hand. So is this going to be a new thing that they allow? Or do you have to have a reservation much like Oga's Cantina for this pirate bar? I imagine so because it's going to be very popular, but we'll see. All right, Tiana's Bayou Adventure is opening this holiday season over at Disneyland. So it's opening on November 15th, 2024, and at the start of the holiday season at the Disneyland Resort. And not only that, but Critic Country will be appropriately re -themed, renamed Bayou Country when Tiana's Bayou Adventure opens. So the gift shop will also coincide with the attraction. 
All right, you guys, we are getting Indiana Jones and Encanto in Animal Kingdom. This is taking over Dino Land. Sorry, Dino Land is going away. We are done with Dino Land. We're done. Uh, it's kind of been in the process of going away anyway because they already closed down Primeval World. So yeah, this is this is exciting. I'm really excited about this because every time I go to Animal Kingdom, I skip this entire land. I don't even know where the dinosaur ride. So one, I love the Indiana Jones ride in California, and if it's a similar, it's going to be new but similar. I'm sure, at least the same track. They're just retheming the inside, because um, dinosaur is the same track. And Encanto sounds cool. Might have to get into the Encanto thing. A new adventure at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park awaits with the addition of a new space themed around the tropical Americas. Welcome to Pueblo Esperanza. I hope I said that right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. My pronunciation isn't good. A new 11 acre section of the park is set to begin with construction later this year, just like Harambe, the land feels lived in with a long rich history, plus, plus there's a large hacienda, which will be one of the largest quick service restaurants at Walt Disney World Resort. Ah, we're getting a brand new quick service restaurant. The space will feel lush and sprawling, featuring a large fountain in the center where the villagers like to gather and tell stories. Additionally, a woodcarver has created a giant working carousel featuring his favorite animals from Disney stories. It's a new take on a classic attraction that young families are going to love. So we're getting a new quick service restaurant and a new carousel. So they really are just taking over Dino Land. And of course, the new land will include two signature attractions, Indiana Jones and Encanto. The Indiana Jones attraction is set to arrive in Animal Kingdom and will be different from Indi any other Indiana Jones experience around the world. In this new venture, the man with the hat has recently discovered a perfectly preserved Maya temple that can only mean one thing. It's time to explore it. He's heard rumors about the myth mythical creature deep within the temple and he's got to see it for himself. So he will bring us along on the adventure, but will there be snakes? We'll just have to wait and see. If you're a fan of drawers, floors, and doors, let's go. The first ever Encanto themed ride through attraction is coming to Animal Kingdom featuring the beloved magical family from the Walt Disney Animation Studios film. Inside the casita, Antonio has just received a special gift, the ability to communicate with animals, and his room has transformed into a rainforest. It's time to go explore alongside him, and you never know what member of the family you might bump into. I hope it's Bruno. But we don't talk about Bruno. Construction of the land is set to begin this fall and will open 2027, but don't worry, you'll still have plenty of time to experience dinosaur again and get that dino. And elsewhere in Animal Kingdom, there are more exciting updates too. The newest show coming to the Tree of Life Theater features Judy Hopps, Nick Wilde, and all of their friends from the Disney animation Zootopia. The show Zootopia Better Zoogether will take guests on an adventure through different biomes seen in this film and opens next winter. This is what's replacing It's Tough to Be a Bug. Another reason why I'm not the biggest fan of Animal Kingdom. So, Disney, thank you very much for giving me a reason to want to go back to Animal Kingdom besides Pandora and the Safari Ride because half of Animal Kingdom isn't really my favorite. I don't care about It's Tough to Be a Bug. I don't care about Dino Land. Now, new experience is coming. Very excited. It will really be a full day park then. We got a Walt Disney audio animatronic coming to Disneyland, as we mentioned in the opening of this video. This is a fitting tribute and it's gonna debut in 2025. You'll actually be able to see Walt Disney through the magic of audio animatronics technology in Walt Disney, A Magical Life. It's the first audio animatronic figure of Walt Disney and it's going to be amazing amazing obviously of course as i previously stated it's going to play in rotation with great moments with mr lincoln which is a fitting acknowledgement of walt disney's significant advances with audio animatronics about 60 years ago when he first in introduced the groundbreaking technology i'm really excited for this because walt disney is the reason we have all of these parks and all of this great movies and stuff so you gotta pay tribute new lion king attraction announced let's talk about it 
adventure like never before will soon roar to life at Disneyland Paris. Everybody look left. Everybody look right. Everywhere you look, the classic Walt Disney Animation Studios film Lion King was in the spotlight at this D23 Horizons event. The new attraction will be themed around Simba and the rest of the animal kingdom will soon join the expanding roster of experiences at the resort. Disneyland Paris' second park, which is being renamed Disney Adventure World, has already seen a handful of recent exciting updates, including the opening of Avengers Campus and the Worlds of Pixar, and will continue with the opening of World of Frozen in 2026. The Lion King, which celebrates its 30th anniversary this year, has long been a beloved Disney story. A new area of the park will be dedicated to the characters and stories of the film, including dining, shopping, and a chance to meet some of your favorite characters. This, when you're ready, you don't have to wait to become a king for this one. Head down the ca caverns beneath Fried Rock. The new attraction will bring you alongside Simba's journey from cub to king. It's going to feel like you stepped right into the movie. I just can't wait to be king. Better play. Is all I gotta say, because that's what it sounds like, is the scene. About the new nighttime parade, because we haven't had a nighttime parade in Magic Kingdom in a while, because other than holiday events, because they quit doing um, whatever the nighttime parade was. I forgot what it was called. I remember we're getting this in summer 2025. Picture this. You're nestled on Main Street, USA, with your loved ones getting ready to watch a nighttime parade come to life right before your eyes. Maybe you've got a churro or a Mickey ice cream bar in hand or eyeing a nearby popcorn cart, but who knows? But the lights dim, the music swells, and now you're watching a brand new spectacular at nighttime in the Magic Kingdom Park. But you don't have to imagine this for much longer because in summer 2025, a brand new parade will make its way to the most magical place on earth. Broadway darlings and former Disney Live Entertainment cast members Rachel Potter and Indian Esp Espinosa grace the stage to announce the all-new parade, Disney Starlight. It's a, it will continue the nighttime spectacular legacy of the mainstream electrical parade. That's the parade I was thinking of. Using the latest technology to tell new stories about the characters you love, all of this is brought to life with the magic of the Blue Fairy in addition to beloved characters from Walt Disney Animation Studios, Peter Films, Peter Pan, and Conto Frozen, and more. And it will debut with and a new nighttime spectacular, Reach for the Stars, debuts in Tokyo Disneyland on September 20th. And coming in January 2025, Disneyland Paris will also unveil its own new nighttime spectacular with timeless songs from Disney and Pixar. The moving journey will be told through projections on Sleeping Beauty Castle and for the first time down Main Street. So even around the world they're getting new nighttime experiences. We're getting the first ever Coco ride. It's been announced. And this is coming to Disney California Adventure. The attraction will be filled with the characters and music you know and love from the beloved movie as you join Miguel on a trip to the land of the dead. This marks the first ever Coco ride in a Disney park. Walt Disney Imagineering will draw inspiration for the attraction from beloved classics like Haunted Mansion and Pirates of the Caribbean. We're bringing our skeletal cast of characters to life in a big way through the latest audio animatronics technology. These figures will appear in ways you have to see to believe. Get ready to celebrate everything you know and love about music, about the movie and music with work beginning on the attraction in 2026. So this one's a little further away, but it's still coming nevertheless. And finally, our last topic of conversation is the new Avatar Land coming to Disneyland. Pack your bags. We're heading to Pandora. In the future, you'll be greeting everyone with, I don't know how to say it, but it's I see you in the Navi language. <laughs> When this all-new exciting destination arrives at the Disneyland Resort with awe-inspiring sights and experiences. We're venturing further into Pandora with the new destination at Disney California Adventure Park. All Pandora, the world of Avatar at Disney's Animal Kingdom is based off of the Oscar winner James Cameron Avatar film. This new destination draws inspiration from Avatar The Way of Water and upcoming Avatar films to bring Pandora to life in a brand new way. Oh my god. The new and thrilling excursion will bring all the action, excitement, and wonder of Avatar, taking guests all the way to the wide open seas of Pandora. This is going to be a dynamic, intense, and emotional experience 
on a grand scale that we know our guests will love. Ready to explore this breathtaking experience worthy of these epic stories? Sabaco. Okay. So, we are getting a lot of new attractions, lands, and experiences coming to the Disney parks around the world. And I hope you guys are very excited for these as much as I am. I just try to, on this podcast, report all the things that you need to know about the Disney parks. And I thought this was a great episode to do before I go on a trip to New York myself. So I don't think I'll be having an episode next week because I come home on Monday. If I do, it might just be a little bit late because I don't know if I'll record an episode. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the podcast. Please subscribe and follow along for more. This podcast is available in a lot of different streaming locations like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, all kind of places. So please go check it out, subscribe, watch, follow along for all the details that you need to know about the Disney parks, Universal parks, etc. all around the world. And if you have a podcast episode idea for me, please give me a shout. Um, and maybe I'll film it for you. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.